the next campaign is a campaign that was guaranteed paradise. This campaign, as they walked upon the earth, they knew that they were guaranteed paradise. And this is a noble woman who her story is well known, although her name is not known by many. Her kunya was Um Zufar. Her name is Su'ira al Asadiya. Su'ira al Asadiya. And she is the Ethiopian woman who suffered from fits of epilepsy. May Allah Ta'ala be pleased with her. So the great companion, Ibn Abbas, he said to the great scholar from the second generation, Atta Ibn Abi Rabah, he said, Shall I not show you a woman from the inhabitants of paradise? And so, Atta, he said, he showed me a tall, large, yellow Ethiopian woman. And he said, this is Su'ira al Asadiya. She went to the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and said, O Messenger of Allah, I suffer from fits of epilepsy. And during these fits, my body becomes exposed. So supplicate to Allah to cure me. He said to her, If you want, I will supplicate to Allah to cure you. And your good deeds and bad deeds will remain as they are. Or if you like, you can be patient and paradise is yours. This noble woman, she chose to be patient. But the thing that she could not be patient with is becoming exposed. She could be patient with the fits of epilepsy. And she chose to be patient and to receive paradise as a compensation. But she could not be patient with being exposed. So the Prophet, السلام, he prayed that she would not become exposed during these fits. And as the ulama mentioned, whenever they mention her story, they mention her extreme intelligence and her extreme modesty. As she was already a companion. And she could have just taken her chances with going to paradise. But because she was so intelligent, she wanted a guarantee of paradise on the tongue of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And she chose that. But because she was extremely modest, she could not be patient with becoming uncovered. And some of the ulama, they mentioned that the only thing that was becoming uncovered is her ankles. But she did not want any non-related man seeing her ankles. That's how modest she was. May Allah Ta'ala be pleased with her. Now, another benefit to this story is Ibn Abbas was narrating this story to one of the great scholars from the Tabi'een, the second generations of Muslims. And this man was Atta Ibn Abi Rabah. And he was a Nubian black man from the Nubians of Mecca. And he was the Mufti of Mecca. He was the man who would give religious verdicts when the people came to Mecca for Hajj. And the ruler did not allow anyone to do that other than him. So he was some considered to be the first Mufti of Mecca, an extremely knowledgeable man who learned from many of the great Sahaba. May Allah Ta'ala be pleased with this noble woman, Su'ira al-Asadiyah.